The next cruise is with MSC. It's your chance to uh, cruise over to Cape Town. And it was only released on Friday, and it is selling so quickly. It's a seriously it? brilliant cruise. 26 yeah. nights. I know. Under 1,500. Under 1,500 oh. pounds. We're going to tell you about this outstanding artillery in a, in a moment's time. But let's take on board, first of all, and just talk through MSC. This is on board the Opera, isn't it? Yeah, this is Mediterranean cruising at its very best. They're called the Mediterranean Shipping Company. They're a family-run company, which in itself is a rarity within the cruise industry. And they've had the biggest expansion of building ships in the recent years. They've spent six billion since 2003 on their ships. That gives you an idea of the quality that you're seeing, the sporty crystal staircases, and this wonderful international flavor with people all around the world. Um, Again, great spas, they're, you know, they're, they are Italian based as, as a company, so you're getting a real flavour of Italy, but you're also getting more than that, you're getting a wonderful international feel. Um, I love them, I love them really because of various reasons. First of all, children under the age of 18 cruise for free, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Uh, they're very environmentally aware, they have great coffee on board from Brazil, Costa Rica and Peru. Costa Rica? <laughs> Costa Rica and Peru. <laughs> I'm doing your thing with Peachy. Um, and you know, again, really, really good fun entertainment on board. Uh, really kind of all singing, all dancing ships. So there's always something going on, particularly around the pool and the open deck. Remember, there's lots of big deck spaces on these ships as well. So if you just want to have quiet cruise and just literally sunbathe and just take in the time and read a book, you can do that. You can make a cruise what you want, or you've got these wonderful big things. I was gonna say, for me, a big part of cruising, yes, the food and the, you know, the service, but it is the entertainment. Absolutely. I love that on an evening. Uh, it's, it's really special. It's like being in the West End. It's like yeah. being in Broadway. And don't get this wrong idea. You know, it's, it's a real shame that there's been this, this image about uh, the, the entertainment not being professional. It's more oh, professional. It's, it is incredibly high standard. It's just like going to the West End and Broadway. These ships are amazing. I, I've enjoyed shows even more than West End, you know, on, on a cruise ship. I really have. They, they, yeah, they're really good. Really mm. good. Anyway, I know we're a bit short of time as ever. So, uh, and this is, uh, this is 26 nights. Uh, from Southampton, so a nice easy start. Um, and it's over to Amsterdam, first of all, isn't yep, it? Yeah, canals, clogs, cafes, tulips, windmills and bicycles. Need I say more? Then you're off to Paris. Um, I'm going to have to go through quickly because there's so much to say and do here. Uh, France is the second largest port and the gateway to Paris, City of Light. Or maybe you can go out to Honfleur or, of course, the Norman countryside. Uh, then you've got a relaxing day at sea and then you're heading to Bilbao. You're now in Spain, the heart of the Basque country, full of whimsical modern art and 19th century boulevards and, of course, the stunning Guggenheim Museum. Then you've got a relaxing day at sea and then we're straight into to Lisbon. Oh, some of the best views of this Portuguese capital are as your ship comes in cruising along the Tagus River. You'll go past the 15th century Bellum Tower, which defended the city for so many hundreds of years. Uh, you'll see the impressive monument to the discoverers that you're seeing there, which is you don't get an idea how big how big that is. If you were to stand up, you'd come up to the kind of the bottom fold. Um, if you were standing on the, the top ledge there, it's incredible. Really? Yeah, it's a massive, massive monument. Um, for me, this is an amazing place. It's all about the hills, the bright yellow trams, and the custard tarts. Oh, those custards, I can taste them now. Now, you can see the idea of some of the imagery here. Best view is from the St. George's Castle, and while you're up there, pick up uh, pick up one of the trams, Tram 28, it's probably the best of its kind in the whole world. It will take you down the Baxio, up the Barrier Auto, for one of the most magical trips. So it takes about 45 minutes, and it will take your breath away. You'll hear Fado echoing in the background. You'll see women hanging out there washing. You'll see these little charming ca cafes. Oh, so lovely. It's lovely. And then you've got a day at sea, and then you visit from Chow, very beautiful, of course. Yeah, the hanging basket of the Atlantic, a mix of Edwardian Britain and the Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it again. Um, and then, uh, then you've got a relaxing, you've got well, a couple of relaxing days at sea before you get to the Cape Verde Islands. And now I've never been here. Very rare, very rare chance to go here. Great opportunity, um, remote and peaceful. They're pretty much as far off the beaten track as you'll get. They're off North Africa's tropical coast. The name literally means Green Cape, which is quite funny because these days there's, there's it's mainly kind of it's an arid landscape, um, but it's very, very beautiful. Um, you've got the wonderful Monte Verde, which is the highest point for great views. You can go and enjoy uh, some amazing uh, folk music performances with what they call Morna and Codelera. And as they perform for you, they dance Capoeira, which is that kind of Brazilian martial arts which was developed by the slaves. This, this is a former slave center, so there's a lot of history here. Great uh, African markets, um, and again, uh, a national liqueur made from sugarcane which is just to die for. 
Now, I know what I'm going to be doing in the next few days. I'd be topping up my tan because you've got several days yeah, at sea. Lovely, lovely weather. And the weather's going to be great, isn't it? Fantastic weather, lots of spaces to lie out and enjoy yourself and kind of bronze your body so you can end up like that statue in Rome. And then, <laughs> uh, Wolvis Bay. This is Namibia. Wow. This is right on the edge of the great Namib desert. It's an a place of extraordinary beauty and these immense dune like moonscapes. And also salt flats that produce 400,000 tons of salt a year. And these wonderful pink flamingos. Um, it, it, it's really, really beautiful and so, quite something like you've never seen before. The town itself has got lots of restaurants, bars and shops um, and you can take a cruise on the Wavis Bay Lagoon. You'll see seals coming up to the boats, schools of dolphins, um, oh, and so much more. And then a final relaxing day at sea and then you disembark in Cape Town. But it doesn't finish there because Planet Cruise have arranged a transfer from the port to a four-star hotel. Yeah. And you've got a, a bed and breakfast, um, say, um, deal with the hotel and then you've got tours included and I'm just looking here you've got the half day city table mountain and then the waterfront tour yeah you? you do so you've got you've got a wonderful these are free tours that have been added in as well for your four night stay so the first one gives you a chance to go uh, up table mountain if you, you know if, if you want to for amazing views over, over the whole of the peninsula uh, the whole of the town um, it also takes you down into the into the Malay quarter and out to the houses of parliament that's a half day tour and the next one the full day tour is Winelands and I've done that with Stellenbosch, Stellenbosch. Oh. incredible and yeah. you're going to go you're going to go to little individual um, wine estates and see the history and how they how, how they make the wine uh, and taste the wine as well. I'm, I mean, this really is a trip of life. It is. I will warn you, it is selling incredibly quickly, and there's only one date available. And you know, when you break it down for, for less than fifteen hundred pounds, you are away nearly a month, twenty six nights here. It, this this is an absolutely stunning deal. This is what cruising is all about. It's giving you a chance to go to places you never thought you'd visit. It's about helping you do that from the luxury of a secure and safe environment, um, and just making friends on the way, making friends all, you know, with the crew, with other passengers, people you're going to keep in touch with for the rest of your life. And I think what I love about this one, Keith, is, you know, you, you, you get to see, you know, Amsterdam and Paris, Bilbao, Lisbon, Madeira, Cape Verde, and then you've got this fantastic end to your holiday in, of course, South Africa. Well, it's like going, it's like, you know, starting off as a frozen block of ice and gradually being melted into this beautiful, warm yeah. thing at the end, isn't it? You're going from the... You're going from the kind of cold areas right the way through to the warmth, and that's always and the I have way. And I have done trips where it's the other way around, and I, I much prefer going to the oh, warmth. absolutely, you yeah. Know. It's better every day. Ooh. Anyway, price-wise, um, you'll see why we've had so many bookings already. Uh, under £1,500. Uh, you've also got the free upgrade from Bella to Fantastic Experience. Just to give us a little insight. Basically exactly. means you get a better uh, you get a better position for your cabin. Um, it basically means you also get uh, room service thrown in there. You can have your breakfast in bed. And it also gives you priority reservations on board yeah. as well. So it's a really nice little thing just to kind of really add the panaz into your cruise. And you get the tours room. The half day, which includes uh, the Table Mountain and Waterfront Tour. And then the full day Wylands Tour as well. Uh, only a very small deposit needed. I would, if you can, book this either today or within the next few days, just because of you know the, the the success of this already has been massive. You know, so many of you already placed a booking with us. And excursion-wise, um, some great excursions available through Planet Cruise. Again, you can save up to 60% compared to what you'd pay on board the ships.